Welcome to another video. This video will be my progress from day 15 to day 21 of Ink Turbo 2018 with a little explanation about each prompt and how I got the idea to draw what I drew. Day 15 the prompt was weak. For this prompt I wanted to do a little bird with tiny tiny wings showing that he's weak at flying. However, I did his legs much larger so that they represent the idea that he's weak at flying but strong at running or jumping, which represents in a normal life situation where somebody can be weak at doing something and strong at doing something else. Day 16, the prompt was angular. I took the opportunity to try out the more geometrical style you see on Instagram quite often. And the idea was just to put things together shapes to make some sort of shape out of it. And I picked the shape of a wolf because I quite enjoy a wolf's appearance. And it would be interesting to do all their sharp edges where their fur is and all that sort of thing. And now my end drawing looks a little bit more like a fox and a wolf put together but it still looks really nice and considering I'd never actually done this style before, I liked the end turnout. down in dark, cover me in stars, will you make my bed, let me lay my head, I have never seen beauty from beneath, when I lift my eyes, rushing by Thank you. 
Day 17, the prompt was swollen. I really wasn't sure what to do for this one. I kept thinking about someone with some sort of injury, like maybe someone hammering and then they hit their finger instead of the actual nail. But instead of doing all the goriness of the actual finger and the nail and everything, I just did a person looking at their swollen thumb, let the audience decide what happened to her thumb. And I really actually liked how the turnout because, I mean, the mouth was a bit weird, but considering I don't draw people very often, she looked really cool. Day 18, the prompt was bottle. This one, I was really excited about. I was going to do a potion bottle, but that's a bit too obvious for my sort of thing. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. So instead, I drew a beta fish in a glass bottle of most likely water. Um, and I'd never really drawn a fish before, so it was a bit of a challenge. And if I could do it again, I would fix the fish's tail and give it more flow and the fins and all that sort of thing. Aside from doing a dragon, the only thing I could think of for this one was the remnants of some sort of bushfire. So like black trees that have been scorched with a little bit of fire here and there. And it actually, I was in a bit of a hurry when I did this one, so it actually turned out quite nice.
Day 20, the prompt was breakable. This one was one of my favorites by far. And I drew a glass lotus candle, a very breakable object, yet a very beautiful thing. I mean, you wouldn't want to leave it on the edge of the counter in case it fell on the floor. And even if you bumped it, it would crack. So these things are ultra breakable. Now my end product was really nice with the blue and the crystal look to it. I really enjoyed this one. the prompt was drain. Now I wasn't really sure what to do with this one because every time you look up the word drain it's literally just a plug with water or a bathtub or a kitchen sink or something. But I decided to do something more interesting and fun so I went with the more kids story feeling thing with a goo monster coming crawling out of or peeking out of a little drain with goo kind of surrounding the drain with spooky golden eyes and I really loved the end result for this one too. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll be another video next week with the next seven days worth of prompts and all the explanations and whatnot. If you don't want to miss out, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!